So here we have a pretty nice example of the realistic DX300 synthesized communications receiver. And this one will work on AC or battery. I'm not sure how many, uh, I think there are D cell batteries that it takes. Probably like six, I'm guessing. <laughs> but uh, in any case, this receiver is working. Um, physically, front panel, pretty much all the way around, it's, it's quite nice. It has, uh, sadly, when I received it, a slight ding back here, right on the upper cabinet. Uh, and this is metal, so maybe that could be bent out. I don't know. But other than that, it's uh, very nice in the front panel. All the uh, switches and knobs move freely. Uh, one of the bugaboos on these uh, receivers is a, a well-known thing, and it's this thing here. This uh, pre-selector will freeze up. As you can see, this one is, is fine, working fine. There you go. And I will show you that it is, is receiving. Uh, here's your... Uh... So, real quickly, going over the features of this radio. And you almost need two hands to operate this thing. But it's an excellent receiver, I must say. So you have your AM, ANL, automatic noise limiter. There's your regular AM. If you're using this with a transmitter, which you probably wouldn't be, but you may. <laughs> that is the standby, which cuts off the receive. And then here's your upper sideband, lower sideband CW positions. And uh, for this purpose, we're going to go ahead and have it in the AM position. But those uh, other positions do work. I did test this thing, and it receives on those uh, in those modes. So I've got it on 590 AM here. So probably one of the only things that I know that it doesn't work properly on this radio is the um, S-meter light. And I believe it's a fairly easy light to replace. I just do not know um, how to do that, so I'm not going to bother. But um, you can see it, uh, signal strength. I think it also checks battery strength. Yeah, there's a battery test button down there. So, uh, and you can turn the lights off. And now this light does work up here. It has some LEDs inside. And as you turn this thing, as you can see, it goes to the different... Uh, Sorry, I got a little zoomed in there. But um, so here we have it in the uh, portion of the broadcast band. And that's why I went ahead and... The, so the way this thing works is, um, if you're, say we're on... Okay, <laughs> brief overview. Um, so here's your pre-selector band. So we're on point f uh, 0.5 to 1.6, which is basically the AM broadcast band. And here's your short shortwave bands down below. But in this band you would uh, see so you have it set here and then you have this outer trim which changes your uh, megahertz and so right now I have it on 0 0.59 as you rotate this it goes to 1 goes to 2 depending on what uh, band or frequency you're on you just keep turning it up so if you want to go to say 80 meters you would switch this to over to here which there's 1.6 to 4.5 and um, for hams, usually anywhere between this frequency here on up into, um, you know, the more active frequencies in this area here. And, uh, you know, you're going to have it in sideband, lower sideband. Now, there's probably nobody in there. And then on top of all of that, once you get this thing set in conjunction with the pre-selector, then you have the pre-selector tune. And so, as you can see, we're at 3,900. We would want to then adjust this guy down I don't know if it's not adjusted right or not usually and of course this also is has some sensitivity to it too anyway you adjust it for peak noise and then rotate now I don't think we have any it's a little early for the 80 meter band but you can see it goes up and down nicely with the digits all the digits are in nice condition and so <laughs> that's a pretty poor <laughs> demonstration of how this thing works uh, but that is how it is working and you, if you get one of these things you can't operate it uh, it's you just look on YouTube or try to get a manual this one comes with the original manual so that will be helpful for you to operate this thing um, it's a fun little receiver and um, Again, this is a fair example of one. The Realistic DX300 Communications Receiver.